वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अनवर शेख एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल नो अबाउट कोरोना वायरस टेस्टिंग एंड हाउ एक्जैक्टली द कोरोना वायरस इज टेस्टेड एंड हाउ द पर्सन इज डिक्लेयर पॉजिटिव और निगेटिव सो माई मोर एम्फेसिस विल बी ऑन दिस रियल टाइम पी सी आर मेथड्स सो आई एम रेगुलरली अपलोडिंग माई लेक्चर्स एंड टॉक्स ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल द लिंक इज हियर सो यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल Please subscribe it so that you will be getting the daily updates whenever I will I will adding any new lecture on it. Let's begin. So as we know, the coronavirus infect our upper respiratory tract system, which includes the lungs, and that leads to the pneumonia. So here, this is a key factor in the coronavirus infection. So the coronavirus enters our lungs epithelial cells via the particular receptor that is called as the angiotensin converting receptor two. and it can enter via the endocytosis pathway the data shows the disease is mild in 80% of the patients and severe in 13% of the patient and critical in 6% of the patients so the common most common symptoms are fever fatigue that is a dry cough and some patients may also have the aches and the pains that is a runny nose then sore throat that is the shortness of the breath and the diarrhea so in critical cases the covid 19 can cause pneumonia or a multiple organ failure that can lead to the death let us see what are the various diagnostic tests which are available to show the presence or absence of this covid 19 infection so here there are a diagnostic test can show if you have an active coronavirus infection and should take to a quarantine or isolate from others so currently there are the two types of the diagnostic test that is the molecular rt pcr that de detect the genetic uh, material on the antigen test that detect and the specific proteins on the surface of the virus whereas the antibody test uh, looks for the antibodies that are made uh, by the immune system in response to a threat such as uh, uh, this coronavirus infection so let us see here the different consequences about this test that means if the test is known by some other name then what are the sample collection uh, method then time taken to get the results in this different these tests is there any alternative other test is also needed along with this and what those the what are the result indicate of this test so let us see one by one so molecular test is also known as diagnostic test viral test molecular test nucleic acid amplification test and the rt pcr test that is real time pcr testing whereas the antigen test is also known as the rapid antigen test antibody test is also known as the serological test then serology blood test and serology test so the next part is uh, sample collection so sample collection is the most important step so in case of the molecular test the nasal or the throat swab is taken is taken sometimes the saliva is also taken in case of the antigen test again the nasal or the uh, throat swab is taken in case of the antibody test the finger stick or the blood is drawn that is the method of collection of the sample so let us compare how much duration is needed to get the results of this test so in case of the molecular test the re, you may get the result on the same day or depending upon the location of the lab or up to a week in case of the antigen test it is a rapid one and you can get the result in one hour or less whereas in case of the antibody test uh, again the same day or depending on the lab it may take one to three days so now we will discuss the mechanism of the molecular rt pcr test rt pcr stand for a real time polymerase chain reaction so these are the various steps involved in this test first one is the nucleic acid extraction followed by adding the various uh, chemicals which include the prime and the probe and the extracted dna buffer and all and after that it is given to the real time pcr instrument where the amplification of the dna is done and after that there is analysis of the result whether and to show whether the result is positive or negative so step by step we will see in detail so before starting let us briefly discuss something about the coronavirus coronaviruses are the viruses in the sub family of the ortho coronaviridae in the family of the coronaviridae and they belong to the order nidovirals they contain the important genetic material that is single stranded positive mrna genome along with that they contain some important proteins which include the enveloping proteins or the e proteins along with that it contains the m proteins then the s proteins s proteins take important role in binding to the receptor on the lungs cell and they also contains the e proteins so each and every protein is having its own important role in spreading the infection 
For example, here the S proteins is binding to the AC2 angiotensin 2 receptor on the lung cells, and because of that, the viruses virus can uh, it can enter into the lung cell via the endocytosis pathway. So, how to detect the presence of this virus inside the individual body? So, what we need to know? We need to know the viral genome, the viral genome which encodes for all of these proteins. So, if the virus is inside the body, we can at least detect the specific sequence of the RNA encoding these proteins. So, among most important proteins, the virus need for its survival is it is encoded by ORF1A and ORF1B region, which encode, encode for the enzyme replicase, which is an important enzyme for the viral RNA replication. Other than that, the E protein or envelope protein, which is important for the viral propagation and survival. Other than that, many important proteins such as the membrane proteins that is encoded by the M region, these are also important. So, if we are able to detect some of these fragments or combination of these fragments in a patient sample, that means possibly the patient is infected by this virus. Several institutions or the several research labs across the world has used primers in a specific region, such as China has used ORF1B and ORFN, whereas Germany has used different kind of sequences. US is using three targets in the N gene. But all of these strategies are ded dedicated to detect the portion of the final genome present in the sample or not. So, every country has their own way of doing it, means finding out the specific sequence in this genome of the virus. So, let us say this is a sample, swab sample which is collected from a positive patient and which contains the virus. So, what the technician will do? The technician will extract RNA from uh, this virus by using some extraction technique and we are most interested in the specific region on this RNA, which is responsible for coding various proteins. As we discussed earlier, specific sequence which is responsible, for example, ORF1, AB or, or M region. So, for example, this is a specific sequence which is encoding and we are interested in. That means we want to detect whether this desired sequence is present in the sample or not. So, for example, just consider here, this is the desired sequence we are interested to amplify and which is responsible or which is coding for the ORF1A protein. In order to detect our desired sequence quantitatively, we need to amplify it. So, here we are using a special technique that is known as a PCR, that is a polymerase chain reaction. So, what is done in the polymerase chain reaction? In polymerase chain reaction, we are multiplying DNA, we are making the multiple copies of DNA. A single DNA can be multiplied to thousands and the lakhs by using the PCR technique. But the problem is that we cannot amplify RNA through the PCR as such. So, we need to convert this RNA sequence into the DNA in order to amplify it by the PCR technique. Now, we need to prepare a DNA from the RNA. We know it, it is a conventional process that RNA can be prepared from the DNA that is known as a transcription, it is a natural process. Now, here what you are doing, we are converting RNA into DNA. So, we are doing a reverse of transcription. So, it can be done with the help of the enzyme that is known as reverse transcriptase and by using some primer, we can convert our desired sequence of the single stranded RNA into a DNA. This DNA is known as double standard complementary DNA. Now, we, once we have obtained this DNA from the desired sequence of the RNA, the RNA was obtained from the coronavirus. So, here now we, what we are doing with the help of this PCR technique, we are amplifying this DNA into thousands and the lakhs. So, this technique or this method, we rely on the real time mode, means whether our target DNA is being amplified or not. So, how will we be detecting? So, we are detecting here with the help of a dye special dye and that dye has got the special ability that whenever it binds to the DNA, it starts fluorescence. So, after binding to the DNA, the dye starts fluorescence, it emits the fluorescence and that fluorescence we are measuring, that is fluorescence versus the number of the cycles, the number of the cycles of the PCR we are using to amplify the DNA. So, here we are getting a graph and once the graph is re reaching a certain height, it indicates that, that, that a certain amount of the DNA has been amplified and if you know that DNA was prepared from the RNA, from the specific sequence of the RNA and that sequence was obtained from the 
coronavirus. So, if the graph is crossing a certain level, it gives a positive result. So, if you see a result of a control, it is con it is compared with the control or the negative patient. Patient. So, we can compare with that one, and we can say that the person is suffering by the corona. It is positive or negative with the help of this technique. So, it is the basics of this technique that is known as the real time. Isaac is working on the real time mode. So, we are we are saying it is a real time PCR technique. These are the references uh, which I used to prepare this lecture. So, if you want this lecture to be prepared in Hindi and Marathi, so please subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. The link is given here. And if you are converting into the Hindi and the Marathi, you will be getting the notification immediately if you are subscribing my channel. So, thank you very much. Stay home and stay safe.